barbarian, ba barbarian, ba barbarian, ba barbarian. Frightening tales told round a campfire. And it was then that they found themselves face to face with the great destructor. It bellowed, I squash you all. And it raised one terrible foot and stomp. <laughs> the great destructor. I squash you all. <laughs> Party's the best. Finally, a chance to discuss all of life's really important issues. Like, who's the cutest Backstreet Minstrel? JT or TJ? TJ! JT! TJ! JT! <laughs> yeah! ah! Now, I squash! 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 Uh, great destructor. <sighs> The next morning, Princess Candy calls a family meeting. I suppose you're wondering why I asked you all here. I know, so we can read this letter that just came from Mom and Dad. Dear kids, we're still busy fighting evil, but we'll be home soon. Your mother says the demon monkeys may attack, but I don't think, egad, they're here. I -e arg, ow, 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 yar, ock, ye, 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 scree, irk. Love, Mom and Dad. No, I asked you here because Fang's uncivilized behavior, like, totally wrecked my slumber party! I mean... I love Fang and stuff, but don't you think she'd be better off if she were a little more ladylike? I don't know if it's a good idea to try to change her. It's a great idea. She tries to change me all the time. And what could be more wholesome than the entire family working together as one? To break Fang's spirit and force her to stifle her true self. The kid's got a point. We can teach Fang to be way, way, way more civilized with this. A young lady's guide to being way, way, way more civilized. Chapter 1. Table Manners. <laughs> Chapter 2, Dancing. <laughs> Chapter 3, Music. <laughs> oh dear. What? I thought that was pretty good aim. Okay, who wants to go mud wrestle some scab-bellied warthogs, huh? What was I thinking? Making Fang civilized is hopeless. Yes, because we've been missing the key ingredient. Bribery! Whenever Fang acts civilized, she gets fizzberries. Fizzberries! A treat so beloved by Fang that she would chew off her own leg to get to them. Must have fizzberries! <laughs> With the added element of bribery, the process of civilizing Fang proceeds swiftly and smoothly. Lady must always leave room for dessert. Right. Fizzberries! Uh, 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 uh. Soon the once savage sister is transformed into Lady Fang. 
By Udragoth, I think she's got it. Our heroes find that the magic of Fizzberries has made the change a bit too complete. We're all very proud of you, Fang. Thank you. And to think I was once as barbaric as you. But don't worry. If you can change me, then I can change all of Utrecht. <laughs> and so it begins. Lady Fang sets out to remake Udragoth in her civilized image. Oh, disgusting! All those naked animals! Something must be done! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. It'll be even better once I get dresses on all these fish. I feel pretty. Oh, we totally have to do something about Fang. She's out of control. I still say Faffy looks adorable. <laughs> Good day to you, my vulgar and ill-mannered family. Just wait until you see what I've done to the moat. We don't have a moat. We do now. Actually, it's more of a feeding trough for bugs. A, a what? Bugs! They're in my hair! They're in my hair! You're feeding them, but you hate bugs. That was the old me. A lady considers all living things precious. Here, little ladybug, I made you a dress. Nice material. Isn't she fun? But at this very moment, attracted by the moat full of bug food... They're in my pants! A terrible menace approaches, intent upon destroying Udrigal, a ferocious herd of... Bugle Beetles! <laughs> These terrible insects are famous for their unstoppable raw. <laughs> We're gonna smash things up good, huh? <laughs> We're gonna smash things up real good! <laughs> They're also famous for being about as smart as the stuff you scoop out of a pumpkin. They're ever so much more civilized. Fang, you do know I'm not a girl, don't you? Princess Candy, have you still not mastered the art of walking with a book balanced on your head? Can I please use a smaller book? Dear, dear Uncle Oswich, isn't painting the most civilized pastime? Sure, if the paint fumes don't make me barf. Again. And what, pray tell, is that? That's just a herd of ferocious bugle beetles that are approaching Udrigar. But I can't seem to... A herd of ferocious bugle beetles? Ah! We gotta stop them! I'll go get bug spray. I think there's some in northern China. We're all gonna fight those bugs together. Not I. A lady doesn't fight. I shall remain here, knitting outfits for the poor unclothed beetles. <laughs> hmm. I may need more yarn. Dave, a beetle's gonna squash Fang! Jabbers! Stay away from my sister, you infernal insect! Lula! I'm not coming out! Her ladyship thought I needed a more civilized look. Say, what are those roses? Yeah, why? Because I'm allergic to roses. <laughs> Pathetic. I may not look scary, but I have to warn you, I'm a barbarian princess. So what? So this! Don't mess with the princess. <laughs> okay, now I'm mad. Asmathrod, then frizz me on. Splexio! <laughs> Hold your horses, big fella. I gotta check the owner's manual for this wand. Uh, here it is. Destroy. Uh, C, obliterate. Okay. Obliterate. C, destroy. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> and so the battle rages on. Day after day. Year after year. It's really only been five minutes. I don't know why I try. Regardless, our heroes soon seem utterly doomed. You know who could save us? Fang! Why, she's the best bug squasher I've seen in 20,000 years. At least she was until I changed her. It's my fault we're all, like, doomed and junk. Excuse me. We was just wondering if this would be a good time to destroy y'all. Oh, sure. Just give us a second to start our horrified screams. And a one, and a two, and a three. Ah! And done. Oh, how pleased the giant man-eating beetles will be with their new outfits. Oh, dear. The killer insects are menacing my beloved family. Family in danger, but mustn't fight. Mustn't squash bugs. You must squash bugs. You must not squash bugs. You must. You must not. You must. You must not. You must not. You must not. Hey, you want to go for a 
a burger or something? I thought you'd never ask. Looks like there's only one thing I can do. All right, bugs. I squash you all! The greatest doctor! Is it just me? Or does the great destructor seem smaller in person? Maybe we's bigger in person. We're coming to get you, great destructor. Bring on the squashy squashy. No, he's flatter in person. It's great to have you back, Fang. I'm totally sorry. I tried to change you in junk. Thanks for saving us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All in a day's work for the great destructor. Yes, Candy is glad that Fang is uncivilized once more. Until... TJ! JT! TJ! JT! Don't pile on Candy! <laughs> Fang, this time I'm not gonna try to change you. I'm gonna try to turn you inside out! It is a time of decision in Udragoth. A time in which momentous actions are being planned. You want me to beat up your friend Shizet because she gave you a fish clock? For my birthday, can you imagine? She knew I wanted a cute top to go with all the other cute things I have that make me look cute. Hey, why don't you just buy her something super nice and make her feel really guilty? I like it. And it allows me to punish her by using my awesome shopping powers. Sweet! A clockwork model of Udragoth. Did you make that? Yeah, but it's broken. It's supposed to fly around shooting out colored lights and playing I'm a Yankee Doodle Barbarian. Can you fix it? I gotta go buy a special gear. You wanna come along? Afterwards, we're taking Uncle Oswich for fudge. Man, I have to stick around here and do a little princess paperwork. Ugh, I hate this job. And so Dave, along with Fang and Oswich, boldly sets out to find a gear for his clockwork model. A gear which can be found in only one place. The fabled cliffs of fabulous shopping! We're never gonna find these dumb cliffs! Let's ask that creepy old guy for directions. Excuse me, creepy old guy? Do you know how to get to the cliffs of fabulous shopping? Aye, that I do. He must cross the Gorge of Agony. What a mighty beast awaits to tear ye limb from limb. From there, ye climb the mountain of thousand screams, which no man has ever faced and lived to tell the tale. Oh, you can take the shuttle. Uh, thanks. <laughs> what a quaint little village. This is the way to travel. You get to stay close to the people. Hello, people. He's that guy from last night. Him on film. Get him! Why are they pummeling Dave viciously? Maybe he read them as poetry. Go! 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 I warned you, no one wants to hear poems about a fluffy throw pillow. You didn't use me at all. Oh, it's so embarrassing. What will the other living swords say? Less than you, I hope. Why'd those villagers attack Dave, Uncle Oswich? I don't know. They said something about last night. Let's look back and see what happened. It's Dave, and he's attacking the village! No! I'm not a monster! I didn't attack anybody! My crystal ball doesn't lie. Dave did attack the village. Maybe he has an evil ghost inside him. Let's cut him open and find out! But on the other hand, Dave might simply be unhinged. In which case, all we have to do is restrain him in a pitch-black dungeon for countless years until he snaps out of it. I'm not liking my options here. As our heroes struggle to solve this mysterious riddle, Princess Candy seeks the perfect gift for her friend, Cheezette. I've been to every shop in town. You must have something. Ooh, I got just the gift. It's for shaving your legs. See? Feels nice. Smooth as a baby's lung. 
It also works on armpits. Candy must visit the Cliffs of Fabulous Shopping herself. And for that, she requires the assistance of... Twinkle, the Marvel Horse. Twinkle, my flying steed. I'm sorry I haven't visited you for a while. I've been so lonely in here. Such terrible thoughts one has alone in the dark. Uh, like I said, I'm real sorry I haven't visited you for a while. It's not important. No one cares about me. They think a mock and belittle Twinkle the Marvel Horse, do they? Well, it is they. They who will suffer. Whatever. Can we just go? Yeah, okay. I had that dream again. The one where I do terrible things to penguins with the croquet mallet. Oh, we definitely got to get you out of that stable more. While Candy soars across the sky towards the cliffs of fabulous shopping. Hey, Fang and Oswich make their way to the same locale. But in every village they pass through... <laughs> Dave is denounced as a monster. <laughs> and viciously pummeled. Fang, Uncle Oswich, I must leave you now. I must go off on my own to find a gear for my model, sacrificing myself for your safety. We're plenty safe. You're the one who keeps getting beat like a bongo. Hmm, good point. <laughs> Sorry, I tripped. Family members, I have uncovered the solution to our mystery. Those villages were attacked by Mecha Dave, a clockwork duplicate built by the Dark Lord Chuckles, the Silly Piggy. You learned all that behind the rock? Additionally, I have learned the location of Chuckles' evil lair. Let us go forth and battle the forces of evil. Hey, now you're sounding barbarian-y. Don't think I've forgotten the most important thing. There's still fudge on the agenda. And so our heroes travel to the evil lair of the Dark Lord Chuckles, the Silly Piggy, located on the Cliffs of Fabulous Shopping. Please take the ticket. What kind of evil lair is this? Actually, it's the Evil Lair Boutique. I just work here part-time to pick up extra money. Thank you, sweets. Come back soon. Now, prepare to meet Mecha Dave and Yard Doom! <laughs> hey, Dave, how come you're not running away? I am a barbarian hero. I must battle evil in all its forms. Hmm, something's different about you. I like it. Once I enchain Mecha Dave, he will attack with Unstoppable! Do you have Junior Miss body armor? I'll six by the accessory daggers. With Unstoppable Force and destroy you! Clearly, we must annihilate Mecha Dave before he can be unleashed. Let's get this over with so we can have fudge. Charge! And lapidate! Note, in future, point magic wand away from self. It's a trick! I'm Dave, he's the fake, and I'll prove it! Please don't hurt me, oh please, 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 please! This proves nothing! Please do not hurt me, for being hurt is unpleasant! Which is the true Dave, and which the machine? No man can say. You look different somehow. Did you change your hair? It chuckles. Who's who? Normally I wouldn't ask, but this is cutting into my fudge time. Yeah, I'm not telling. The whole point of my diabolical plan is to have Dave destroyed by his own beloved family. Oh, the delicious irony. Isn't <laughs> Oh, no, sorry. Just see foam or melon, sweetie. I can destroy them both with a magic spell. That way we'd be sure to get the imposter. For Dave's sake, I think we should just keep standing here helplessly. The jabbers! Hold it right there. Candy, what are you doing here? Hello, it's the Cliffs of Fabulous Shopping. There's a fake Dave and a real Dave, and we can't tell which is which, and they're gonna hack each other up and stuff. You gotta help us! Duh, that one's Dave. Hooray! Curse you! How did you know? Because the other one's got a big wind-up key in his back. I can't believe you guys didn't notice that. I thought it was some kind of growth. Did you change your hair? So, you have seen through my cunning ruse, but I still have the mystic amulet of Hoxwinder! I found this gorgeous 
bracelet for Chizek. You want to see? Chuckles is going to destroy us all! Fine, so I'll show you after. Now you must fight or... I'm sorry. Would you mind winding me up? Not at all. Perish! Okay, now I'm mad. Ah! Hey, his insides are just like my clockwork model of Udragoth. Hmm. Can I borrow this? No! Thanks. Dave uses Princess Candy's bracelet as an extra gear and cleverly reprograms Mecha Dave. That ought to do it. My programming has been changed, Chuckles. I am now commanded to pound you into bacon mist. Ew. greatest of the brown colored fruits. You said it, Uncle O. And so, Princess Candy purchased for her friend Cheezette a chunk of fudge the size of a goat. I'd say everything worked out pretty well. For you, maybe. But I turned myself into a newt. What's so bad about that? Newts don't eat fudge! It's wonderful to be around people again. I've spent so many long nights alone. So alone. Yeah, you, you definitely got to get him out of the stable more. Take the plunge under the sea with Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder in The Little Mermaid. Coming up next, here on Disney Channel.